Market update with money. We're brought to you by the Escalator Funds from Discovery Invest. Discovery is an authorized financial services provider. Well, Gary Itzikovitz, the chief executive of Quantum Property Group, is with us in the studio. The last time he came here was a couple of years ago. And at that point in time, Gary, uh, David Shapiro was asking you how clever you were with watches because you'd done the reverse takeover of Anbico. You put a property group into it. And this is Quantum Property. Today you made an announcement, which we'll get to in just a moment. But the, the purpose back then was a development that you were doing in Aronjezug, then valued at 420 million rand, um, called 15 on Orange in Cape Town. Um, now I see that the valuation has gone up to as much as a billion rand. Is it, can that be accurate in two years? Uh, absolutely, Alec. Um, it's f the development is valued at just under a billion rand by independent valuers. Mm, but how have you added so much value in uh, just a couple of years? Uh, I'm not sure where you got the number that you just quoted. Well, when we were talking there, it was 420. I had checked it up. Um, okay. That was the valuation that you guys put on the property. Yeah, well, the, 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 valuation, uh, the, underli the valuation of the underlying assets on completion um, is just under a billion rand at the moment, on completion. Mm, and that will be June, July this year. How have uh, how've some pre-bookings and rentals and so uh, um, tenan tenancies uh, been looking? Well, as you know, 15 on Orange is a prime development in Cape Town. It's a six-star hotel um, with 12 apartments, penthouse apartments, which have all been pre-sold. Um, we have just under 3,000 square meters of retail, which has been pre-let at very good and sustainable uh, rentals. And um, we also have a, a parking garage, which would service the entire area. Um, the hotel, um, we have bookings for virtually the whole hotel for the opening period and taking us through 2010. Which hotel brand? Um, we, the hotel is the premier brand of the Protea Group, which is called African Pride. Mm -hmm. All right, and coming back to your announcement today, in Johannesburg, there's a, a property called the Santon Eye, which many people will drive past it every day. You've seen it, Dave? Santon Eye? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think that's worth? What do you think it's going to be worth? Take a fly. Uh, uh, property, I don't know. 1.4 billion <laughs> rand? Point, Gary? On, on completion. On completion. Yeah. Now, you're looking to get a 25% stake on a 1.4 billion project for 75 million. Now, Correct. that sounds like you're getting in real cheap, or perhaps uh, you need to explain a little bit more how this works. Alec, I think um, we are getting in at fair value, and I think that is indicative of where the market is, and that's why our business plan is such a positive business plan amongst all the doom and gloom. I think at the moment we, we are in a value market. We're back to value. We're back to fundamentals. Now, we are developers. We are value adders. We have experience. Our management team has developed in excess of $4 billion rand's worth of property in the last couple of years. In fact, um, for the Emperor in Santon last year, we won the best developer in the country at the Sapoa Convention. I see you also have 12 penthouses in the eye, or the Santon eye has got 12 penthouses. That seems to be something Quite that works for you. Absolutely. Um, the, they, they're very focused. We virtually have bookings for all of them at the moment. You, we're not flooding the market with 100 and 200. Uh, they are 12 penthouses linked into the hotel, and uh, they'll be snapped up very, very quickly. So these are the 10 million plus for how big a space is the is a penthouse? Um, Alec, at this point in time, we are still uh, finalizing the size of the penthouses, and we'll release that pretty soon. And there are enough people around with that kind of money in South Africa? Very much so. The, the penthouses are linked into the hotel. They, uh, they get five-star service from the hotel. Uh, a lot of business people that live overseas some of the time or live in South Africa some of the time uh, find it very convenient to have a fully serviced five-star facility um, in the hotel. But these are the super hotel. wealthy. These must be people who in the 500 million rand asset value class and upwards, like David Shapiro, <laughs> people close to him. Well, you've obviously <laughs> seen his balance sheet. I, the <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's a matter of, uh, of need. Also, if you're traveling a lot, you don't have mm. to pack. You can leave your suits. Uh, th th there are a lot of reasons. You can leave your clothes. Your, you don't even need to take a toothbrush. And you don't have to make bookings. And when you get there... But you pay for it. You do pay for it, but uh, but pe these are people in the league that money want. Really well, I think that they're value driven. 
and we give value. But they, 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 they want what they want at the right price, and we give it to How them. How do you market to these mega wealthy individuals? We, we, we have a database of people. It's not a mass marketing campaign. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. So you'd phone someone up and say, Brian Joffe, I've got a penthouse for you. And uh, Brian would say, mm, I've already got one in Johannesburg, <laughs> but I know David Shapiro, who's perhaps in the market. Quite correct. Brian. We haven't spoken to Brian, however, uh, maybe we should. But hasn't, doesn't Brian have the penthouse yeah, that he's Michael Angelo? Yeah, in that, in that building. Well, but it's that beautiful. kind of person mm, that you're talking correct, about. Yeah. Mm. And it's only 12 people. 12 mm. people. Well, I guess so. This, uh, the Radisson Hotel, why did you select them as, as your partner there? Um, the Radisson is a very fine international brand, and we have an excellent relationship with them. Our partner, the 75% partner, was the developer of the Radisson Blue at the Santon Isle, and uh, they expressed uh, a need for more hotel rooms in Santon, and the relationship developed, and we chose them. That's fascinating. So Radisson have a hotel just around the corner to the one that you're busy building at the moment. Correct. They're going to be branded uh, slightly differently. Uh, the Santon Isle will be branded more towards the tourists, but we will be more of a business hotel. I want to ask you something else, because my share selection for this year is the Don Group. The Don has got some beautiful, hot uh, not hotels, but premises very close to the Santon Eye and um, areas that you would think is worth a whole lot of money, a whole lot more than the market cap of that company. Why is it, do you think, that they haven't developed that yet, or someone like you hasn't come along and said, let's do a 1.4 billion rand development on the Don sites? Well, I think that the, the, the Don have their own agenda. I think they do what they do very well. Their real estate is exceptionally valuable, and uh, they could approach us to unlock the value, and if they did, we would definitely talk to them, but mm -hmm. they haven't approached us yet. But why would they be sitting on one or two star hotels it's no better than that in a precinct where five and six stars are the norm well there's a need for two and three star hotels as there is a need for five you can't make hotels. your return on surely um, on that kind of on the valuation of that kind of property i'm just asking you as a as a property expert uh, a three a three star hotel can actually be a license to print money if you get it correct hmm. Well, very interesting. They haven't been printing money, unfortunately, at the Don. <laughs> I, I, I guess that uh, I recommend, or well, my thought on that one, David, is that at some point in time they'll sell but that that's, very But it's a beautiful property. property. They've got that one literally uh, uh, it was 10, 20, 20. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And they've got and one just got next the door to it. You've too. got the car train there. A lovely area. The asset selection for the, by the Don initially was very, very good. And um, they have very, very, very valuable real estate. And there, there's a big unlock opportunity there. Indeed there is. Gary Itzikovitz, Chief Executive Quantum Property Group, who's also unlocking quite a lot of value on the Santon I in Santon. If you